the EISL is what we're going to be discussing today with Azim Banatwala. And the EISL has been taking place parallelly with the Hero ISL at the same time. And you've had uh, players competing against each other, two players representing each club and going at it week in, week out. Uh, and the person who I have with me today is a comedian, is a caster. Uh, he also does a bunch of other things. So I don't really know how to describe him. So Azim, why don't you just come in and tell us exactly how you would like to describe yourself before I go on a limb and do that. First of all, welcome and hello from everyone. Hello. Um, yeah, I mean, I, honestly, I came onto the show hoping one of you all would be able to tell me what I'm doing with my life. Uh, because <laughs> I thought this is just a group therapy session to help me figure out. But of course, uh, with uh, obviously the, the way the world has been, uh, obviously stand-up comedy was... Uh, my job or day job so to speak but uh, after a while I've always been a gamer always been massively into football uh, we were doing 442 which is the football show that we do on YouTube um, and through that uh, through the gaming the streaming and all of that then somehow the EISL materialized and uh, yeah it's been super fun yeah you know uh, what else is super fun is also the show that we do and hopefully with you coming it's going to be even more fun uh, azim what's been happening in the ISL tell us is it is it uh, is it as intense as you expected it to be is it you know what's at stake how's how's the experience been so far for you yeah it's really good i mean you have to say the quality of the players obviously you have pretty much the the top 22 players in india who are competing over there and uh, all of the teams have a very balanced lineup in terms of players a lot of uh, some teams have like two good players some some teams have one really good player and one sort of new guy on the circuit yeah. so it's very interesting to see how that that balance is coming across and for the moment like i think we're like seeing the table sort of take its shape now about 7 8 games in mm. uh, we have fc goa sitting uh, right on top uh, with uh, with I think 18 points just below them we have uh, Chennai FC jersey which I bought uh, specifically for Mr. Damodaran <laughs> and uh, because you know I'm I'm a huge fan of uh, people who send me free things uh, <laughs> and uh, we got uh, I believe it's Jamshedpur FC in third, Chennai FC in second, and uh, Bengaluru rounding up the top four. And uh, Kerala Blasters FC, unfortunately, uh, decidedly uh, mid-table team in the EISL so far. <laughs> wow. But in, in the Hero ISL, uh, breaking into that top four. So, yeah, they, so, they, need, they need Vukumanovic. Perhaps, perhaps. Uh, Azim, you know... Pulas has had a bit of a checkered history with uh, FIFA as well. Uh, he's, he used to be an avid FIFA gamer till one day he reached breaking point and almost broke his controller, if I'm not mistaken, Pulas, and then had a had a moment of self-introspection and decided yeah. to do away with the game. Yeah, I decided to do away. It was, uh, you know, Azim, how they say it was, it was becoming toxic, my 20-year relationship yeah, yeah. with uh, FIFA. Uh, me and FIFA from 1999 were together. But then I don't think, you know, it, it reached a point where love was lost and a hard decision had to be made. Uh, but at the same time, it's mainly because the 14-year-olds took over the gaming circuit and the, the constant realization that I'm not as quick as I used to be on gaming and I can't do tricks and I can't do like a flick flack cross uh, was just getting to me. And I was like, done. And the next day I was on the real pitch and, and you know, I was like, I'm going to play the real sport now. But I do miss it. I know it's kind of, uh, but I've obviously replaced it with other games. At the same time, I've also done some commentary for the FIFA Virtual Bundesliga. So that was fun. I wanted to ask you okay. how fun that is. Because did you know all the tricks? Do you like, when you do it, do you like mention all the combos? Like how different is it from, from the real stuff? Oh, I mean, yeah. So it's the same with me. I think we've had pretty much the same FIFA journey. I started with FIFA 98 Road to World Cup. That was the first one that I started with. And since you mentioned breaking controls, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but uh, this crack happened see? last month after uh, open goal miss and ah, bang. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, it's actually a lot of fun commentating. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of differences, particularly with y'all as commentators. Y'all uh, see, the thing is that in the EISL, how it works is that. Uh, Yes, you do have the different teams uh, wearing the different jerseys, but they use the, the game mode called Ultimate Team, yes. uh, which means that you have basically all the teams are using the, the best 11 players available in the game. And that's not just current players. So most of the teams, the top three is uh, Ronaldo, Pele and Cruyff. Those are the guys who are playing for, for every team. And, and we, we hear and, a lot of uh, Gullit as well. 
yeah root golit is in there you've got vandersar who uh, i mean so so the the winner of the mvp award for the eisl gets a nice cash prize of uh, 4 lakh rupees but i think me and the the casters have already sent that check to edwin vandersar in in ajax wherever <laughs> he is uh, because he's been ruining the lives of all the strikers over there just saves absolutely everything so it's been fun and uh, I mean, the one benefit I think that you all have as real world commentators, of course, is that uh, there are real world things happening in people's lives uh, on the pitch and uh, about the clubs and transfers and and drama and all that kind of stuff. Whereas uh, for us, it's uh, the same players playing against each other almost uh, for mm-hmm. a lot of the time. So it's uh, I do miss being able to go outside the game and just talk about you know what's happening outside the pitch. but it's it's always always super super fun azim did you notice how pullas kind of uh, you know there there was this, there was a slight of hand over there he said look i i'm more about the real game you know i don't i don't play no, 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 anymore no. <laughs> i'm a <laughs> But, so, but, took but, a lot of time to explain. But the bottom line was he was not good at it, so that's why he stopped playing. You know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, th- I think so. I think so. If you know, I'd, I'd be interested so in knowing. <laughs> I'd be interested in knowing how Pulas and Azim both would do against these uh, EISL athletes that are competing in the EISL at the moment. Because from what we've seen, the skills on display and the tricks are oh top tier, top tier elite level. In fact, we're now going to go to the top five moments from the EISL from last week, and you know. most of the times uh, a moment that doesn't lead to a goal is almost more entertaining than the goal itself so there's plenty of that in this compilation take a look and azim will pick your brain about this after that top 5 moments in the esl in the last week coming up getting from both these players and a little bit of uh, all hogging going on and again you know he's going to Try to build up the attack uh, towards the final phases. It's going to be messy oh. with that left foot. Oh. He has obviously the dribbling ability and the and the skills available. And the same with Gulati. I think they're just going to do that. They're going to oh try, and they've got the chance and didn't shoot again. No. Still oh. not shooting. Oh and my God! And he's off the post. And oh my God! Or Ankit Gupta finding his way through, but well marshaled at the back. Lionel Messi playing at left back now. It's all <laughs> happening. Will he just try to get that ball clear? He no, he's given it straight back to them. And Eusebio with Mathias, and Eusebio gets the cross in. Surely oh. a goal this time. It's saved oh. by Mandesar. It's saved. Two very innovative things with his corners. Going for the safe one this time. Oh no, he's he's shifted it out a little bit. Finesse shot into the corner, and again Mandesar uh, being put to the test. Yeah, once again, though the same corner routine this time. Gullit on the box. The deflection falls his way, but Martinez not able to find the kick in in time. Uh, from the start, maybe not uh, the, the ideal position uh, that he would like. But don't forget that there's oh. only three defenders, and he's got Pele in here. Surely has to take it, yep. and he gets oh. it. Is that the winner? You can see the celebrations from Tugal. Yeah, I I know what you meant by Edwin Van der Sar now, Azim. <laughs> Just he was he was all over the place. What what was the most entertaining game for you to commentate on from the compilation that we just saw? Um, I think you just saw. I think the number one moment, probably. I think a little bit of the context is lacking over there because we saw. Uh, I believe it was Dougal TV who was uh, got his first win. A lot of players this time who had been struggling a little bit throughout uh, got their got their first wins uh, in uh, in the EISL this week. And we had a couple of three two results this week, especially there was one with Mumbai City FC where they were. uh two nil down at 75 minutes came back to win it 3-2 literally in the last minute so there's been a lot of excitement a lot of interesting play styles now coming a lot of set piece routines being used by people um because also what happens in uh, in particular in fifa you're not just uh, so there is an element of playing football and there is an element of playing the game uh, as you know the tournament progresses people figure out ways in which they can exploit certain features and certain things that the game does to their advantage and then over time then the people start to figure out how they can counter that so there is obviously a huge football element but there's also like a massive massive like gaming element but uh, actually i did want to ask since i have a great panel of uh, commentators over here 
I mean, I've, this is my first commentary gig, so to speak, but, uh, what, uh, tips do you all have, you know, for a, for a budding commentator? Shaiju, I, why don't you? Shaiju Chetan. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I was coming to him. <laughs> uh, try to express the emotions. It is something that, uh, instead of doing the running commentary, up, uh, a live game coach, Odo. You take it as an emotional thing for you, especially when Kerala Blast is playing. Emotional investment. <laughs> uh, well, right. No, uh, Varun, Varun, how did you rate uh, Azim's commentary from what you saw? We saw, I mean, uh, Shaiji, sir, I saw a lot of emotion there, uh, to be fair. I, I saw uh, chaotic screams. I saw, I, saw a lot of, I saw a lot of confusion because, of course, the commentary has to reflect what's happening on the screen as well. So there was, there was a lot of that uh, as well. Varun, what, uh, what no, was your I was also analysis? really enjoying it and uh, glad that he doesn't speak Bengali, so he's not going to be my competitor, you know, in Bengali commentary. But uh, Azim, great stuff and it's like really good, organic and all that. But uh, uh, are you enjoying it? I think that's most important, you know, like enjoying the game, enjoying uh, the shout outs and uh, adding a bit of comic maybe, which is your strength. Uh, so I'll be honest, I have been, I've wanted to be a commentator pretty much since I was like in, in college. And uh, so there is a video game that I, I've played a lot of called Football Manager. Some of you would be uh, familiar yes, with it. And yes. yeah. for since the 10 years that I've been doing it, I sit and play it alone, obviously away from, you know, my wife who's usually in the other room. And when she goes to sleep and I'm sitting late at night and playing it, I actually comment, used to commentate on my own games, uh, like a complete idiot. Uh, and I've actually, I have no shame in admitting this, but once I did take from the league two of English football crew, Alexandra, all the way to the champions league final. Fantastic. And I wore a suit for that game. You have reached the pinnacle of football manager. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I play football manager, but then when eventually they show, you know, how many hours you've spent on it and it says something yeah. terrible, like you've spent three months on it or something yeah. in the past year. And you're like, Oh my God. <laughs> but but yeah, football managers are fantastic. But it's also te- it, teach- it also teaches a lot of commentary stuff like that pass was like a hot knife through butter. You know, yeah. all of these are typical football manager commentary jargon, and you get yeah. to pick up a lot from there, of course. Oh, Pulas! Now we now we know another one of the sources where you get your. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Shaiju sir, any word on on this Chennai NFC jersey that uh, <laughs> that Azim no. is wearing? Because uh, we were also, I, I believe, you were curious to know how KBFC were doing in the EISL Ab- as well. Absolutely, right? absolutely. I need to. I want to ask Azim that, uh, of course, uh, you are doing commentary for all the EISL games, but especially from my side, I want to ask you how uh, KBFC are doing now in uh, EISL. And uh, of course, one more question added to that is. Uh, uh, this thing, na, uh, because KBFC having a huge fan base, you know very well, huge fan base. According to the fans of KBFC, kisi tarah jitna hai match, whatever you do on the ground, of the patthar marke bhi jitna hai. Exactly they say, patthar marke bhi jitna hai. Okay, so that this kind of a this kind of a fan base KBFC is having. Do you do you get any feedbacks from them also for EISL? Two questions. Yeah, I mean, uh, also just to address the second one, I think uh, maybe in uh, FIFA 23, we'll see the Pathar feature being added uh, yeah. by EA Sports so that uh, the Kerala Blaster fans can uh, properly get engaged in the game. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but uh, I think Kerala Blasters FC, they've been a little unfortunate uh, in the tournament so far. They do have actually one of the best players in uh, Lokmanyo who has represented India in various global FIFA tournaments. And... Uh, uh, his teammate Akshat also managed to get his uh, first win last week. He's been, I think, one of the, the chief victims of Edwin van der Sar, let's say, where I think we, we will see a compilation at some point of just Akshat reacting and just looking at the screen like, how have I not scored? Like, you get these expected goal stats at the end of the game and he's lost a game 2-0, but his expected goals is like 6. So, you know, he's been wow. in that kind of situation. Oh. And of course, lots of the Kerala Blasters fans have been uh, getting in touch. And I think also in general, the the FIFA scene in India is very largely concentrated uh, in the South. You have most of the, the big players coming from, from Kerala, from Tamil Nadu. So, huge, huge following over there and uh, only going to get better. And we're hoping to see uh, all the viewers of this show. If you guys haven't checked out the EISL yet, uh, we need to see you all there. Uh, pretty much uh, Monday to Wednesday at 5 p.m. Just before the actual Hero ISL kicks off. So, that's where you should be. Brilliant. And Azim, what is this running gag or running joke about the Mumbai City FC players not being able to get a fist bump right? Uh, can you can you tell us a bit more about that? 
Yeah, I mean, I think uh, you can see over here. Uh, there you go, just completely <laughs> leaves it hanging. Uh, and it's something that we've been uh, talking to. There, they've improved it quite a bit. And we've been talking to the players as well. Ashwin, who's the guy in the glasses, uh, uh, made it a point after the second and third week. Said along with the the FIFA, we've also been working on our fist bump technique because for the first two days, I think they were confused. What are we doing? Are we doing high fives? Are we doing handshakes? Are we doing fist bumps? So one would go for handshake and get a fist bump. It was like they were playing with a rock paper scissors after a while. <laughs> So I think they've they've got it uh, down now. And Ashwin from Mumbai City FC actually has been, as the casters, one of our favorite players to watch because of how expressive he is with everything he does. And yeah. also he's given us the best uh, post match interviews, so he's good fun. Yeah, you know, so they, they were fairly more composed in the in the compilation we just saw, but the, in the one that's just going to come up now, the intensity has been amped up. Just take a look. <laughs> it's 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 really really uh, intense over here. Shushing the shushing yeah. the opponent as well. So does that happen a lot? Is is there a lot of banter between the EISL athletes as well? Yeah, I would imagine so. Uh, unfortunately, if we don't get the audio from the studio because you know a lot of the times in the heat of the moment, uh, a lot of these uh, guys <laughs> are going to be saying things that are not entirely uh, viewer friendly. Right. Um, but we do see particularly when you know there's a penalty. Uh, one team, obviously, one player taking the penalty, the other guy across the table is saving it. So there is that little bit of banter across the table. Ki, right dive curve, right dive curve, and then putting it in the left. So uh, like you see it in the real world, uh, you have right. uh, some of that stuff happening as well and uh, but generally there's a good mutual respect I think amongst all the players uh, there have been one or two occasions where I think uh, one of the players got a bit annoyed because there was a lot of time wasting happening mm -hmm. player had a one goal lead and he just sat and kept the ball literally from the 80th minute onwards so you do see a li little bit of that but it's generally all good fun yeah brilliant now we're just going to have the ESL table right up in front of you right now and Azim you can just take us through the standings uh uh, expected given the skill sets of of the players which are which are playing for the respective teams. Yeah, I mean, I think that FC Goa was probably a bit of a surprise package for all of us. Uh, Chennai and FC, we we were expecting to be pretty much at the top because they have India's number one player in Saran's Chen. Uh, yeah. Although, in fact, despite him being the number one player, uh, it's been his teammate Naveen who was sort of the uh, the lesser known player who's actually really been uh, taking taking charge of that team and bringing them up. Uh, Jamshedpur as well, very, very good balanced team over there. And after below that, like fourth onwards, we've seen a lot of inconsistency, you could say, from people where winning their individual matches, but sort of not doing well in their co-op, stuff like that. Uh, we have SC East Bengal, who for some reason have not been uh, allowed to play. Uh, they've just been sitting in their hotel rooms and they've only played two or three matches so far. But they've given us some of the most incredible uh, entertainment. And... It is obviously from an Indian football cultural standpoint quite interesting that you see both ATK uh, Mohan Bagan and SES Bengal sitting pretty much at the bottom of the table. Uh, so going to be interesting to see yeah, if they can uh, manage, especially ATK MB. I think uh, uh, like we've been saying in the in the, in the the streams and we have to as casters be nice uh, during the streams, but uh, some of the defending just has been absolutely atrocious over there and uh, We've seen, obviously, the players have been watching our broadcast as well. So we've seen, you know, whenever they score a goal or win a game or make a save, there's one sly look towards the camera that comes <laughs> because they know nice. that we're watching. But yeah, it's, I think it's a very nice uh, environment that we have. There's good banter amongst the players uh, and uh, along with us as the casters as well. And uh, with the fans as well, lots of fans coming and watching in on, on the live streams. Or there's several platforms on which people can watch it. Yeah. So great initiative. I mean... Uh, if I, when I was the age of most of these boys, 18, 19, and you told me, come, you know, you can just professionally uh, play FIFA and represent the, the biggest football teams in India and, you know, get a tidy sum of prize money out of it, I would have laughed at you. But this is, this is the world we're living in. I think it's fabulous. Would, would, you, have, would you have given up comedy for, for, that, for that career? Um, I would give up comedy anything for anything that paid me money, man. <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> after the last year and a half. <laughs> but but Azim, uh, at least for the KBFC fans, you know, last match, when they played the last match, Adrian Luna uh, had a nice uh, way of celebration. Do you notice this? <laughs> yeah. So it is, it is, please, please take a note of this. It will be useful. It will be very useful for you. 
Is, I will is there that an option to we'll celebrate see. like that? Uh, I'm in, quite in sure Chicago? there will be. Yeah, I'm quite sure there will be. We, we'll uh, try to talk to some of the Kerala Blasters boys, uh, right. Lokmanyu in particular, and see if he can uh, work that celebration into. But, uh, you know, Shai Joseph, for that, they also have to score a goal to celebrate it. Oh, so, no, he didn't. Uh, oh, no, he didn't. <laughs> Maybe, well, uh, maybe maybe they need to start wearing white shirts, you know, and, uh, and playing. Maybe maybe that might make a difference. Azim, I have one last one for you. Do you play classic sure. or do you play alternate? Uh, alternate. Oh, great! We can be friends then. Yes. <laughs> Azim, uh, talking about the hero ISL now, which is your favorite hero ISL team? Um, so for me, it's always been a huge dilemma because I am, of course, a Mumbai boy born and bred, but also Manchester United fan. So for me, the choice of Mumbai City FC is go either either I have to go against Mumbai or I have to go against Manchester United to support that. Mm-hmm. So I have abstained and gone for the next closest state and I support FC Goa. But you're wearing oh, well a Chennai FC jersey. Because they send it to me for free. <laughs> <laughs> FC Goa, take note. <laughs> yeah. FC Goa sent me last year's jersey. I'm waiting for this one. Uh, then I'll come wearing that one as well. Perfect. Well, brilliant. Uh, maybe Azim, the next time we have you on the Let's Football Live show, which, which we hope is uh, hopefully soon, we'll have you wearing an FC Goa jersey. But thank you so much for joining us. It's been an absolute pleasure. And all the best to you with uh, the rest of the EISL season and for all your commentary ventures as well. If you need any tips, do know where to reach out. Yeah. We're all here. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. Have a Thanks, good Azim. And, uh, have a good, good New Year. You, you too. too. Thank you. You too.